<laughs> What's up everybody? Today is like the fourth annual deer meat for dinner last day of the season for lobsters here in South Florida. We got David Bell, we got Gabe, Blue Gabe, we got Aubrey, Vita Brito Mas Grande, we got Pedro, the life-saving wild man who also likes to catch lobsters, and we've got our newest cameraman, you guys. We call him Redneck. Redneck. He's sporting a brand new GoPro 7 with a customized dog strap, and he is ready to rock. You ready to do this? Don't wobble either when you when you film. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. It should be a pretty cool trip. Yeah. Pedro, tell us what you do. Uh, I'm in the Air Force. I'm a crew chief on a combat rescue helicopter. That deserves like 50 thumbs up all on its own. It means we're gonna be safe today. Yeah. So if I get injured, no mouth to mouth, Pedro. Do you think we brought enough gear? Dude, we're about to sink the boat just from gear. I don't know if this is good or bad, but I'm already cold. Thank God I brought a wetsuit. So cool. Jupiter is such a cool town. There's always something to do here. People back there on the sandbar hanging out. People just riding in their boats. People on Instagram. People holding cameras. People responsibly driving the boat back there. Aubrey is Mr. Responsible. I don't know if y'all know that. He's like Mr. Responsible. So I just got the word that it's super dirty offshore, like chocolate milk. Therefore, lobstering is going to be very tough, but I do believe we are up for the challenge. Almost ready to send Gabe and Pedro down. His name's actually Josh, but they call his group the Pedros. Now, Aubrey's driving in like 100 circles here, looking for something. I'm not sure what you're looking for. If I was making y'all wait this long, y'all be having a fit. So, Aubrey, what do you think they're going to get? Number one, I think they're going to come up and they're going to complain about the rock that I dropped them on. That's that's a given. Let's not start off with a negative, Arrington, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go with, they're going to go down, they're going to anchor up, they're going to have the perfect amount of tide. It's going to be 20 to 25 feet of visibility. They're going to both limit out on lobsters. Then we're going to go down, we're going to lob, limit out on lobsters. Oh, we're definitely. And then, yeah, see, Aubrey will, <laughs> Aubrey will backdoor you and drop you on sand just because he's the oldest brother. Oh, 
That's a great start to a great day. Now me and Aubrey are about to suit up and head down. This is what it's all about, man. This is what I want to know. Like, who's your favorite dive partner? Who's your favorite hunting buddy, favorite fishing buddy? And if you want to come out here, go to DearMeatForDinner.com. Me and my partners at Excalibur are getting ready to give away an all expense paid trip for two people. That's talking airfare, everything we do. It's going to be a day on the boat, a day on the ranch and the owner of Excalibur showing up with a full-on crossbow package. You're getting that as a gift. Only you though, your buddy doesn't get one. And see, uh -oh. this, see this guy, you might even get to hang out with him. Maybe. <laughs> Infection. Well, get in the water and wipe that off. It's all green all over your head. How about puke? <laughs>
at that. Did you leave the ball on the bottom? Yeah. Big old beautiful lionfish. Oh, look at the big legs on that thing. Aubrey, how many how many did you catch with eggs? A lot. I caught at least 10 or 15 oh, with that eggs. Was bugging a lot. Me so much. A lot. I was getting every one of them with eggs. Who's ready for dinner, y'all? Hey dear me. What's that? We Thanks. rocked it again. Thanks for the invite. Every single year, last weekend of the season, we come out and catch lobsters just like it's opening day. It's an amazing life, y'all. And uh, we're heading in. Guys, so here's a scoop. I have like two different silver stag fillet knives and I left them both at home, so. No, you have like five different, because <laughs> you have mine and mom's. So that's what we're gonna be filleting fish and cleaning lobster with right now, because we're here out at the new house. As you can see, the walls are up on the new house and uh, Blue Gabe's gonna be cleaning some fish for us. It's funny that everybody has a different way of cleaning a fish. And Whenever I clean a lionfish, especially one this big, I like a longer blade. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and we got old Stubby here. And that's the reason you want a longer blade. You see them spines that close to my knuckle? But there's no real reason to cut those fins off like most people if you just take your time. To me, lionfish, I know they're invasive, I know they're non-native, but to me they're just another good eating fish now. It, we're, you, we ain't getting rid of them. They're not going away. There's never gonna be a day when we can say, oh, there's no more. <laughs> Here comes Sarah. But there's never gonna be a day when we can say, oh, there's no more lionfish. So now I just look at them as another fish to eat. Look at that. He was swimming and now he's gonna be swimming in some grease. Beautiful, look how white that meat is. Perfect. I don't know if I want to dull my knife yet. Yeah, no, that's too hard, man. This is what it's all about. What is that orange stuff? That's row that hasn't come out yet. That's gonna be a female. Take a bite. That's it. Now that the tails are all split, he's gonna take the meat out of the shell. If we were grilling them, we wouldn't do this, but that ain't how we're cooking them today. Just take the meat right out of the shell. This is what we call a convertible lobster. Don't throw it in the dirt. All that meat. See what he's doing? Always dry it off like this, and then you're gonna get a lot better flavor. That the seasoning will will soak up. Eggs. We're gonna try this, whether we like it or not. We're gonna do a quick and easy panko crusted lobster. You gotta go heavy on the seasoning too, by the way. I like that. You do? So that's new. What do you have in the middle thing? Buttermilk, which is just like your egg wash that you do, but buttermilk's easier and I think it's a little better. What is this? That's seasoning. <laughs> I like it. You like seasoning? Yeah. So I gotta admit, that's the first time I've ever seen you use buttermilk. I like it better than the egg wash. Oh 
yeah. You want that grease to be about 325 degrees. Not too hot, but hot enough. What you think, babe? There's Blue Game on top of his game cooking. As seen right here. <laughs> Blue Game merch! It looks so stinking good. This is Jake's favorite part. Honey? Yeah. Especially with a little bit of extra salt. A little bit of that sweet saltiness. Let me try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, smash the thumbs up because that's insane. You like the honey on it? I love the honey too. Uh, hot. Oh my god. That's amazing. Honey tastes really good. The honey makes it, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. You know, when you guys watch our channel, this the videos are just a part of the flow, a part of the action. This is just a, a window into our life. Sarah's got her friends down. David Bell, the guy running the camera, he's actually from California. He was here when we were building our, our pond and then we invited him back and now hopefully he can start doing some production work with Gabe and Sarah. Sarah has a channel called Dear Mom, which we're gonna try to do. How many videos would you like to see her produce each week? One, two, three, what would you like to see? Make it doable, guys, come on. Yeah, 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 because She's busy, but we need David to like help her with the camera, do some yeah. editing, and show her life because she's got tons of stuff that y'all would love to see. I guarantee you that. But um, that's it. We went out, we caught lobster, we caught lionfish, we came back, we cleaned it up. Now we're cooking it and eating it, and I'm stoked you were hanging out with us. Thank you. But I mean, that's about all we got. We got getting ready to make You're some welcome. coleslaw. We're gonna make some fruit salad. And, oh, uh, that's a salad. We're probably gonna go sit out by the pond and just enjoy the night with a campfire. But oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm yeah. just literally just burning the pond. Oh my gosh. But that's all I got for you today, you guys. Take so care, rapid. God bless. Oh. We gone.